everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we are going back to 2010 and we are going to open up this old box of 2010 Pro Debut Series 2. I picked this one up down in Houston a few weeks ago at the Houston Card Connection. It was only $139, which is actually pretty cheap. The cheapest one I could find on eBay right now is $180 after the shipping. Probably like almost $200 after the tax and shipping are added in together. So we're going to be opening this. Dustin Ackley is the cover boy of the box. He was a former first round pick. I think he went number two overall. And looking for Mike Trout. Now Mike Trout base card is in series one, but Mike Trout does have a relic card in this. And he also has an insert card in this series. Maybe we'll find one. So let's go ahead and rip it open. This one's going to be for Josh L. Josh, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to sponsor a video just like this one, we sell all of our spots on Patreon. We'll be listing new spots coming up here either tonight or tomorrow. We'll have this Saturday showdown, which you can only see on Patreon. And we also will have Team Break Tuesday spots going on sale also this weekend. All right, so here you go. Here's the box. There are 24 packs with eight cards per pack. And they give you a pro debut scouting checklist right here. So pretty uh, nice right there. We like it. I guess I don't know what I would do with this. So I'm just going to send this. I guess I'll just toss this in with your stuff, Josh, and you can look that over. So here we go. There's two autographs and one game-worn All-Star Futures game card. So if you're not familiar with what that Futures game is, during the All-Star festivities, it's typically played on a Sunday, the Sunday before the All-Star game. They get all the best prospects together, and they have a Futures game. And it uh, looks like they got the jerseys off the players and cut them up. There's Jesus Montero. We'll find one of those in here. And Elton Simmons, you're going to see a lot of former big leaguers and maybe some current big leaguers as well in here. And then you'll see some guys that never even made it. Zach Britton, he made the big leagues, and I think he just officially retired. Haven't really seen much of him the past couple seasons because of injury. Nothing too crazy in that first pack for Josh L. Let's move on to pack number two. Eight cards for pack. Hope we can find a Mike Trout. We'll see what else we get in here. Pro debut is... You know, here we go. Oh, man, this is kind of a sad one. Greg Hallman. So this was a prospect who never made the major leagues, and he was actually killed by his brother. If I'm not mistaken, he was gunned down by his brother in an argument. Now, he was a good prospect there, but um, that happened probably back in 2010 or 2011. So this may have been one of the last cards that he ever signed. Greg Hallman. Little-known player, but I remember that story. That was kind of crazy stuff right there. So um, there's Derek Dietrich. He had a, some some highlights in his career for sure. I remember he had three home runs against the Pirates and marveled at all of them, and I remember him getting into some dust-ups over that. There's Wellington Castillo, big leaguer. Who else has made the big leagues? We got a blue right here, Jacob Skoll. It'll be numbered to 369, so I don't know if there would be much value to a player that never made the big leagues. I mean, 2010 if you're in the minors and you still haven't made it yet 13 years later, well, then you're probably never going to make it. There's a player that just had his 2024 rookie card come out. I think it was Drew Maggie. I think he was in the minor leagues for forever like 10 12 years wouldn't that be something if he was in here here's jonathan singleton he's an interesting story he was a big prospect coming up then he just disappeared had so i think he had some issues off the field and he disappeared and he made a comeback i think it was the last year he finally made it the whole way back jonathan singleton and that tools of the trade insert set that you just saw there for jonathan singleton that's what we're looking for for mike trout there's nick Haganone, former former Cleveland Indian, and Paul Goldschmidt in his minor league days. There's Goldie. Goldie has an MVP under his belt now, and I think that uh, he's probably going to be a Hall of Famer at some point. I don't know if he'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but the guy has been putting numbers up, and he still continues on. There's Eddie Rosario. At any point, I forget the stat on it exactly, but on any point, there's usually an average of, like, what, 40-ish players playing at any one time that are going to be future Hall of Famers. You've got your obvious ones like Scherzer and Kershaw and Mike Trout. There's Matt Moore. That'll be numbered out of 369. And then you've got guys that are stars now that'll probably get in. You know, Juan Soto and Bryce Harper. They're not there yet, but uh, they just keep doing what they're doing. They'll get in. 
Then you've got rookies just coming onto the scene. That'll be Hall of Famer someday. At any one point, I forget where I saw that study. We've got Francisco Piguero right there and Mike Moustakis, the Moose. Right? I guess you could look back. It'd be interesting to go back through all of the different sets. Like, let's just grab a set from like 1989, say for example, 89 tops. Go through the 792 cards, see how many are Hall of Famers. I bet you it would be like in the 30s, upwards of 40. Of course, some of those guys would be Hall of Famers, but they're not because of the whole PED stuff. Here's a debut cut. Look at this. We have a debut cut card right here. This looks like it might be like a 2006 Topps card that they cut up. Cameron Rupp. All right. Interesting. Cameron Rupp numbered to 200. A you, typically with cut cards, by the way, if you're new to the hobby and you don't know what a cut autograph is, typically cut autos are for players that have passed. Usually Hall of Famers that have you know been long since gone, and they'll find a postcard or a canceled check or a letter with their signature on it, they'll cut the signature out, and then they will insert it into a card, just like this, kind of like how they do with relics. That's what a cut auto is. So kind of weird that we get that one. How about for the football fans out there? We've got Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, back when he was playing baseball, of course, he would go on to make his name on the gridiron. So that's a kind of a cool find. That's I think that's only the second time I've ever seen a Russell Wilson card. I have his first Bowman card. Eric Hosmer, he just retired from baseball yesterday. So he had a nice career, made a bunch of money. Eric Hosmer, I think he's still under contract for two more years. He signed that big deal with the Padres. Of course, they cut ties with him, and they're still paying him. And I think he went on to, like, the, what, the Red Sox and the Cubs. Derek Norris right there. I don't know if he's going to give up the last two years of salary now that he's retired. Probably. There's Eddie Rosario, which will be numbered to 369. So we're seeing... A few blues, maybe averaging one every three packs or so. Steven Souza used to be an infielder. I remember him for his outfield defense. I think he saved a no-hitter. Who's no hitter did he save with a fantastic catch? Was it Strasburg? Back in the day, Jay Jackson. Mike Fultonavich. Back in his Astros days. Still looking for that Mike Trout tools of the trade. We got Zach Wheeler, young Zach Wheeler there. He's become a star. Kyle Drabick. I always thought that Kyle Drabick was going to be a big name. He was a good prospect coming up. But I think he messed up his shoulder. I think he had a shoulder injury, and that's usually a kiss of death, death when it comes to pitchers. He was Doug Dravick's son, and here is our relic. We're only halfway through the box. It's Dom Brown, Dominic Brown, number 225, Team USA from the Futures game. <clears throat> Interesting card right there. Dom Brown would go on to make the big leagues. And we are potentially out of hits, but we'll see. Maybe there'll be an extra one here. There's Max Stassi, which will be numbered to 369. Yet another blue. Got Michael Taylor. I'm still hopeful that we can find the Mike Trout Tools of the Trade card for Josh. That would be nice. Tomorrow, I think we're going to do maybe a face-off Friday with a jumbo box of Series 1 from 2024. Maybe face it off against some other jumbo boxes and just kind of look at the value that you get in the jumbo box. It'll be interesting. To see, like, numbered card-wise, I know some people are like, just, who cares about numbered cards? Well, if you're paying, like, $180 a box, you want to get the most value, most bang for your buck. And, um, I don't know, I feel like having the chance of pulling, like, an Ellie, Ellie De La Cruz or Jason Dominguez or Evan Carter, there's Chad Bettis, he played in the big leagues for a while, and on to that next pack. But finding one of those guys, better chance you have finding one of those, the, the more it's it's actually worth it. Here we go with this next pack. This is two-thirds of the way through the box. No crazy massive hits yet, but definitely a fun one right here. We pulled maybe the product hit out of Five Star last night. I, Man, I, I, I think I really underestimated it. I was like, oh, man, it's a one of one, and I won't tell you who in case you want to go watch the video. But I was like, that's probably worth, like, what, $750? I was being very conservative. And then there's people in the comments saying it's a $20,000 card. Now, I don't know if it's worth $20,000. One of one. It's a great-looking card. It's now the, the more I think about it. And there he is, Mike Trout. We got him. Tools of the trade. Mike Trout. It feels like Troutmas around here, that series we used to do in December. Looking for Mike Trout early cards. From his rookie year, it's a pre-rookie 2010 Mike Trout card right there. Back when he was with the Cedar Rapids Colonels. Minor League Mike Trout. Now, Mike Trout cards have all dropped off. 
I don't want to say the face of the cliff because his PSA 10 rookie card is still worth about $1,000. But they have dropped off about 60 to 70% from their highs where they were a little while ago. And look at this. We have another autograph. It is Stephen Hensley. So three autos. The box only advertised two. And they've given us a bonus. So I was curious. I was like, well, we got all the autographs and hits already. We're only halfway through the box. Maybe there'll be another one in there. And it happened. Always like the extra surprise when there's a bonus hit put in. Who do we have here? It's another blue. Lots and lots of blues. Donnie Roach, Anthony Vasquez, Robert Rowland, and TJ McFarland, who would go on to have a pretty nice career as a reliever. But anyway, we'll be live tonight, by the way, with our auction, the Thursday night auction. It's going to be a consignment, so I hope you'll stop by and check it out and see what we have up for sale. And thanks to all of those of you that tuned in last night to What Not Wednesday. We'll be doing What Not Wednesdays about an hour or two every Wednesday. And uh, a bunch of you signed up for your $10 off with that link. And what I did to make sure that I could give you What Not's money was I just uh, I made a listing, a buy it now listing where you could get hobby packs of Series 1 from 2024, basically for free. <clears throat> so you don't have to pay anything for them. There's Scooter Jeanette using that. If you've never purchased on WhatNot before, the code is good for $10 off your first purchase. I, you do have to pay shipping, though, which is a couple bucks. They don't cover shipping on those free codes, but it's a pretty nice deal. So check it out. We'll be live again next Wednesday, and uh, hope to see some of you there as well. We got some, honestly, I think I had 87 orders last night total. 57 different packages because there were some repeat buyers. And I noticed there was probably a good 20 names that I'd never seen before. So we got some new folks, maybe getting some new viewership on the channel. That's one of the reasons I wanted to try it out. There's Billy Hamilton. Back when he was an infielder, of course, he would move out to center field. Billy Hamilton never really could uh, stick for too long in the big leagues. Never really had a huge season because... He just couldn't get on base. Such fast speed, great base stealer, but can't really do too much with that if you can't get on first base. Mike Hessman, by the way, if you don't know who Mike Hessman is, this guy is the Babe Ruth of the minor leagues. I think he has the most minor league home runs ever. Uh, Mike was a leading international, uh, let's see, all-time Toledo Mud Hens long ball king with 140. Does he have like 500 career home runs in the minors or something like that? This guy never really... Broke through the big leagues. I think guess he may have had a cup of coffee here and there, but he was just a slugger in AAA for years and years. I kind of want to look up his stats now. If you're bored right now, look up Mike Hessman and look at his minor league resume there. It's very interesting stuff right there. And Ryan Berry is the last one in this Throwback Thursday. So there you have it, 2010 Pro Debut. A lot of those guys made the big leagues. Some of them still around, guys like Zach Wheeler and Mike Trout and so on. But uh, definitely a fun rip. Always love doing the Throwback Thursdays. We do those every Thursday around here. Tomorrow will be Face Off Friday. We'll try a couple different jumbo boxes from recent releases and see which one's the best. That'll be fun. I'll put that for sale on Patreon tonight. And I hope to see some of you in the live auction tonight. It is another consignment, so I don't even know what's in there. I haven't opened the package yet, but it's from Dominic, and he usually has some really good stuff. So check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see all of you tonight in the auction. Good night, everybody.